In this presentation, what we're going to do is look at how to construct a normal probability plot. These plots are also known as QQ plots. Now, the normal probability plot is a graphical technique used for assessing whether or not a data set is normally distributed or not. Now, the data points are plotted against the theoretical normal distribution in such a way that the points would f should form a straight line, assuming that they were actually normally distributed. Departures from this straight line indicate that the assumption was wrong, that in fact the data set is not normally distributed. And the relevant R functions we're going to use are QQ norm and QQ line. So I have two data sets here, X and Y. Now first off I'm going to look at uh, the QQ plot for X. So I'm going to type in QQ norm X. Hit return. Now the graphics will be on a different window, so I just have to find this other window. There we have it there. That's the QQ norm function. That's the output of the QQ norm function. Now I'm going to use the QQ line function to superimpose a trend line on this graph. I do that as follows. QQ line and X. So let's see what that looks like. There we have it there. Now for the most part the data points uh, follow the trend line quite closely. Now there would be deviations and in some in this particular case we've got two sort of very large deviations at the either end. Now this would uh, be known as a phenomenon known as fat tails but for the most part we're going to sort of accept that this distribution here is normally distributed. I'm going to look at a, a counter example now. So I have a second data set called Y. So I'm going to do the same thing again. QQ norm of Y and QQ line Y and hit return. So I'm going to look at the um, our output again. It's down here in this window down here. So I'm going to just bring that up. And there we have it there. Now here we have much more extreme deviations and we can sort of see that there's a sort of curved effect that really this trend line does not really represent the overall trend of the, these data points here. So in this particular case we sort of would assume would would sort of conclude that in fact this data set is not normally distributed. I just conclude by saying that we could I would recommend using uh, a formal hypothesis test uh, to um, complement a graphical analysis. There's a couple that are available in uh, True R. Uh, the first one is the Shapiro Wilk test, known Shapiro.test. The second one is the Anderson Darling test, AD test. Now, these are our formal hypothesis tests, and are, they make useful complements to graphical procedures.